So now let's look at FE type questions for frames and determinancy. So we have a frame below here and we want to find is it unstable, stable or statically determinate? Is it indeterminate with how many degrees? So for this frame, the rules here, you just apply these rules and they are in your handbook. We're looking at frames. In the previous video, we did trusses, right? Same thing. We find M, the M value, the number of members. R is the number of independent reaction components. So independent. So we're looking essentially externally. We're not considering the hinges for trusses and frames. It's mostly the frames, right, that have hinges. So do not consider the reactions at hinges for the frames when we're using this method here. So we know that's R, it's the external reactions. J is the number of joints and C is going to be what? It's the number of condition equations based on the known internal moments or forces. For example, the internal moment of zero at a hinge. So we know C is just going to be, to simply restate this, is the number of hinges. So for C, just plug in the number of hinges you have for the frame. So I don't think you'll get anything too complicated on the FE. So for C, just find the number of condition equations for the hinges as denoted here. If we have the frame, right? So that's what we'll do. Let's find M, R, J, and C. Let's go back. For this one, we know the number of members. So let's call that M equals to what? We have one here, two. We have this third one and we have this fourth member so we have a total of four now let's find r r is gonna equal to what the reactions it's external reactions so we have a reaction here r1 it's a fixed right so fixed we have always three reactions a reaction in the x a reaction in the y we'll call r2 and a moment we'll call the moment m3 so we have three here then for this fixed end, we know we have R4. This is going to be R5 that goes up. And we have, again, another moment, M6. So we have a total of six. So here we have six reactions. And now we find the J value, the number of joints. In this case, we have one, two, hinges are joints two. This is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. The J value is 5, and we know the last thing is the C value. The C value is just your equations for hinges. So it's going to be 1 here, 1 hinge. This is our second hinge, and this is the third hinge. So C is going to equal 3. So now we just do 3M plus R. So we do 3M plus r which equals to 3 times 4 plus 6 and that equals to 18 then we do the 3j plus the c value as shown here 3j plus c so 3j plus c equals to 3 times 5 plus 3 and for that, you should also get 18. So now we compare the left side and the right side. Is it this, this one, or this one? It's obviously the second case because 18 equals 18. So it's going to be stable and statically determinate. So here we know 18 equals 18. So our correct answer should be B. So now let's apply the same procedure to the next example. We find the M value, the number of what members, right? So we, here we have one. Here is this one as well, or is this? So is this that one member I'm talking about, or is it the whole thing? So it's just going to be this. So we have this joint that separates a member here, a member, and another member. So be careful there. So this is one member here, and we have another member here. So this is two, then we have this third member, three. We have this fourth member, four. This is our fifth member. This is our sixth member, and this is the last member. 
So this is 7. So we have a total of 7 members for M. So now let's find the reactions R. And R here is obviously the same as the last one. Because we have at each fixed end, you have 3 possible reactions. So we know we'll have R1, R2, moment 3. Then we have the R4. R5 and a moment. Let's call it moment 6. So we have 6 reactions here. So R is 6. Now we have the J. J is the number of joints. So we just count these. So it's 1 here. 2. 3. 4. So I missed this one. 5. 6. 7. So we have 7 joints, right? And the last thing is the C value. C is going to be how much? C, in this case, it's just zero. Because we have no hinges, right? So it's just going to be zero. So now we do the 3M plus R equals to 3 times 7 plus the 6. And for that, you should get 27. Then on the right side, we do 3J plus C, so we have 3 times 7 plus 0, and you just get 21. So now we just take the difference, and that will be our degree of indeterminacy. So we know in this case that 27 is bigger than 21, so we know it's going to be indeterminate, right? Let's look here. If it's this case, it's going to be stable and statically indeterminate, but we want to determine the number of degrees. So you just take the difference. So we just take the, the 27 minus 21 and you get 6 degrees. So the number of degrees here is going to be 6 degrees. So our answer should be indeterminate with 6 degrees of indeterminacy. So that's all for the frames and in the next video we'll do beams.